Good evening. <laughs> How are we? Um, this feels a bit weird. I'm not used doing uh, Instagram Live in the bathroom. This is a first, but I, I hope this is a habit that is going to carry on because cleanse with me. I think I asked on the Facebook group, hi, um, whether or not this was a good idea and everyone said yes, Sunday night is pamper time. So what better time to start on a Sunday evening on a very special day. So I don't know how many of you have been following the sort of social channels um, today. Um, hi, um, and we've, we've had a little announcement today. Um, I have given birth. <laughs> I talk about this whole situation very much in, in baby terms, it's very weird. So um, I have started my skincare line and have launched with a cleanser. So I would like you all to meet my baby. Um, this is Dr. Sam's Flawless Cleanser. Um, so that was kind of the reason for doing the cleanse with me, although it was an idea that I was, I was keen to do anyway, but I thought what better night to start than tonight. So. We've had an amazing day. Um, so much support and love coming in. I am a walking ball of emotion. So if I get a little bit teary at some point, please be tolerant of my... Um, someone's inviting me, Noodle Delaneous, to come to Ireland for delivery. You know what? I think I might be going home next weekend to see my dad. He's very excited about all of this. So <laughs> careful what you wish for. You get Dr. Sam coming over for tea. Um, I do like tea. So um, yes, yeah, so we've launched this today. We're incredibly lucky to have been um, able to launch it um, with the help of the fabulous people over at the Sunday Times. Um, huge, huge thanks to their support and appreciation for the mission that we're starting with the range. So um, big love to Sarah Jossel and Lorraine Candy for their help, as I said earlier. I'm, I'm a bit gushy about it, but it's because it means so much to get such a quality publication behind something that means so much to me. Um, and has been a bit of a journey as, um, uh, you know, a few people know my story and how long this has been, you know, coming to fruition. Um, if we're talking about baby terms, it's probably like the gestation of a baby elephant. Um, I believe they go on for quite some time. So we're talking about six years in different versions um, and ideas slowly but surely solidifying. And I like to think that the essence of the range that I'm bringing to you, so this is the first of a complete system of products, that it makes as much sense now as it did at the beginning, some five or six years ago when I started to plan how I wanted to create a range that I thought would be different, that would add value to an overly saturated and super crazy busy market. So it had to be something that was new and fresh and interesting. Um, I will get to the cleansing point at some point, but I just want to give you a bit of context for the product start. Um, so, so the range itself, um, you know, a complete system of products is coming and we'll be getting a little bit of feedback from you guys as to maybe how we go about doing the next products. Um, more of that to come. Anywho, so coming back to the cleanser. Now, fundamentally for me, if cleansing ain't right, the rest of your skincare is probably going to go a bit wrong, especially if you're using good stuff. And you know what I mean by good stuff, ladies, you know that I mean retinoids and different types of acid, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, AHAs, acetic acid, benzoyl peroxide, etc. So all that kind of stuff, um, we need the right basis. So it's a bit like when you're building a wardrobe. If you haven't got the right pair of jeans, everything just looks a bit wrong. So cleanser is like a fundamental building block. Hi Jack, hi Annie, um, hi Gemma. Um, and it really does have to be right for everything else to go seamlessly. Um, I don't know how many of you guys out there have had problems with cleansers, but I know from my experience in the clinic, it happens on a daily basis that people currently finding it very difficult to find good products that don't aggravate common skin conditions. So um, if you have very normal skin, may not matter too much what you use in terms of causing problems, but if you have problems like acne, 
which is a huge kind of subsection of my population in the clinic. So maybe 80% have some degree of blemish prone tendency. That's kind of our practice sweet spot, if you will. Dr. Emma and I see that on a daily basis in all shapes and sizes and forms and different age groups and all of that stuff. So the wrong cleanser can really upset acne prone skin. Perioral dermatitis, a very common condition, I think particularly right now because I think there are so many products that are fashionable that aren't the friend of the girl with perioral dermatitis. I'm not being sexist, there really aren't very men. I think I've seen one man in my entire career with perioral dermatitis. It really is a girl thing and I think it really is a product thing in those who have a susceptibility to it. Rosacea, another condition where the wrong cleanser can drive everything bonkers um, and will make it hard for you to tolerate treatment products that would be helpful. So that is why your cleanser is your foundation garment, if you will, like Spanx or something. Um, I've gone from jeans to Spanx, but I think you get the gist. Um, so that is why it's so important to get it right. Now, to compound the situation um, of finding the right cleanser that won't do any harm, um, was the problem practically that brands that I liked um, kept discontinuing products and replacing them with something subtly different, quite often for trend reasons as well, which it kind of drove me a little bit to distraction. Because, you know, if something is a great classic, don't mess around with it, just leave it be, <laughs> because people like it and they buy it. Um, and certainly this was happening with my own routine um, and was happening, it was making it difficult for me to put routines together that were affordable for patients because I don't believe that cleansers should be expensive because it's not on your skin for very long. Um, so the idea of pouring loads of active ingredients into a, a cleanser to drive up the price point because of the seeming claims that you can make, I personally think is really quite disingenuous because most ingredients won't be present long enough on the skin to do anything particularly meaningful, um, particularly in the anti-aging space. So pigmentation, wrinkles, sagging, all of the above, really very difficult to actually get um, any kind of benefits from a cleanser because it's a short contact product. Anywho, so once all of that happened and the products kept going away, I, you know, it's like, okay, this range thing I've been thinking about for donkeys, I should just get on with it because it's upsetting my practice. It's making me very hard for me to recommend products with, with great regularity to patients because there were supply issues and all sorts of like, you know, what is going on? Why can we not get hold of this cleanser anymore? Anyway, enough of the anger, Sam, calm. So that made me think about the products that I liked, that patients had liked, that they told us on social media that they liked and find the qualities and distill it down into one single product that I felt that I could be loyal to, and I'm pretty darn picky when it comes to what I put on my skin, as I'm sure many of you know. Um, bit of a control freak about the old uh, complexion, it's the nature of my job. So I thought, well, if I can find one that has all those qualities wrapped up in one attractive parcel, with a name that I could tell my friends, because a lot of the products that I like, very difficult to remember their names, they've got a lot of words in them. So, you know, <laughs> you have that situation. Um, cute looking, a name you can say to your friends, and properties that I was looking for. So that means no fragrance. That means a non-drying formula that cushions your skin and doesn't dry it out and leave it depleted and tight and disturb skin pH, which just makes for an uphill battle with your active skincare. Um, and I wanted it to not clog pores. I mean, you know, I, I my skin, can look good in makeup, sometimes it can look very red, sometimes I'll get breakouts. I have a little stress spot right here on the chin, just for you guys with all that's been going on. No one tells you when you start a new business, you won't go to the gym and you will go to Deliveroo every single night for your dinner. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, thank the Lord for pajamas, hey? So in terms of, um, yeah, so, so that's, so not clogging pores, very important, not irritating, potentially redness prone skin, very important. Um, what else? And then it felt nice. It was a good texture to use. I actually enjoyed using it. Um, and that it was efficient because I ain't got time for double cleansing. Sorry. Um, I, I'm too busy. I have too much to do. And frankly, I think that if skin is in good shape, you shouldn't need to rely on super heavy coverage. And if you don't rely on super heavy coverage, then you can probably find an efficient single cleanse will do the job. That's my personal preference. So, you know, it was a decent sized shopping list, but um, 
working with some great formulators and in Flawless Cleanser, um, Flawless is, just to, to clarify, I think that it is flawless in a sense, I don't think it does any harm, I think it really does have all those properties that I was looking for, it's a product I feel I can stay loyal to and just kind of forget about cleansing now because like I know this one works for me and I will just keep using it because it does what I need a cleanser to do and it doesn't promise to do things that no cleanser can do, okay? Um, and I think it looks nice. Like I'm very pleased with the branding. I think any of you who know me from the practice will know that I'm a bit of a, you know, aesthetically driven person. I like my shoes. I like everything to look pretty and chic and clean and modern. So that was what we were trying to achieve with the product. Um, and I think it's a sensible price point. So all of those things in a bottle, um, flawless cleanser. Um, we like to put cute little, um, you'll see this whenever you get it guys. But you, um, can you see? Sorry, Francis is here by the way. Um, just to let What's you know, that? Francis is here. He's been an absolute star with all of this has been going on. We've literally been working straight through clinic and then doing this um, straight through for about, I don't know, three weeks. Uh, I don't know, he's literally got barely left, you know, to go home. Um, so amazing, like he's Still been right amazing. There. And he's contributed so much. Some of those beautiful videos are him. Um, those really great images on the website, also him. Like you wouldn't believe how talented he is. Anyway, so he's sitting here quietly, so, <laughs> but it's so true, he's blushing now. Um, what was I saying? Branding, cute branding, so it looks nice. Um, and yeah, oh yeah, so the, um, the things on the back. So it, I wanted it to be clear that you ha this is how you use it, okay? So um, cleaning your face, should be easy it shouldn't be like solving an algorithm you know or do you solve an algorithm even i don't know you know what i mean um it shouldn't be super complicated and i that word comes up with skincare so much right now complicated confusing so i'm here to try to take away the pain girls um and boys and and to basically remove the guesswork so instructions i think are very clear um but to even make it clearer super clear like beyond a shadow of a doubt um i've done a video now <laughs> what's quite funny and you can tell us if you're interested we did a version for the website because everyone told me do not make your videos too long for your website they should be two minutes well with much you know cutting and chopping and whatever we got it down to i think about three which hopefully is tolerable um but uh we're going to if you'd like we were thinking of putting the extended on-cut version, like Blade Runner or something, um, on YouTube, so you can enjoy a full, luxuriant seven minutes of me cleansing. And what I wanted to show you, uh, joking aside, was the full routine without me chopping bits out and sort of faking the fact that, um, you know, I, maybe I'd, I'd, I'd sort of, eye makeup was run or I hadn't moved all the makeup or whatever else. So it, it's done in real time, so you can really see that it was an effective product. And for the video, much like today, I was wearing um, SPF, um, LTE UV Clear, I was using Burberry Bright Glow. And because I'd been filming, I actually had quite a bit more coverage on my skin than usual. So I had um, concealer and powder. And I don't normally wear powder every day, but for filming, I, you know, you guys don't like that much shine. I, I appreciate sometimes I can look a little bit on the wrong side of Dewey and that's fine by me, but for camera I understand. It's better, it's a little bit more matte in the teaser. So I had a little bit of um, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, I think was the one, very fine layer, just in the teaser. So yes, it was just to show you that I could manage to get that amount of product off in a single cleanse and that maybe if you're still struggling with a single cleanse, and I, I think it's, as long as your skin isn't particularly redness prone and sensitive, it's probably fine to assist when wearing heavier makeup with a wet muslin cloth that you use to lift the product off the skin. But you know, there's none of this, there's no power tool action, okay? Um, so, oh, somebody says put the extended version on, so uh, we will. We'll, 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 I mean, funny. you know, it will be like a fun cup of tea type um, video, I think. Um, so yeah, so that's my approach. Sort your skin out, you know, as much as anyone can with in terms of the problems. Pair back on the makeup a little if if you're really struggling to get a single cleanse to work for you. And I think ultimately it just makes life easier. Everything's simpler. There's less stress and less <laughs> aggression, you know. Right, so shall we get on with the cleansing then? Because I do think I've been chatting away. Um, Questions? Have we got any questions? I'm having a wee look. So I'm gonna. I've been put a lot of questions. I've taken all my jewelry off, guys. So I like, you know, I've got sunscreen on my neck, um, from the day, 
and I've got a bit of, again, I've got, I've got pretty much what I said to you before without any, um, can't wait for Dr. Sam SPF. Mm. <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see. Everything's cooking. We're nearly there with everything else. Um, Shall we address international shipping? Oh, international shipping, questions. okay. I'm sorry, today, like, honestly, we have been so overwhelmed and amazed in equal measure by um, by you guys getting on board. Obviously, it's like a huge kind of vote of thank, uh, of confidence when um, the Sunday Times says this is a good product. Um, and it was so nervous making, sending a you know, product off, you know, for the oh, for testing. But anyway, um, that obviously went all right. Um, but yeah, international shipping, we need to get the UK sorted. And as I say today, we have been overwhelmed with demand. And um, so we're gonna take a little bit of time to sort local shipping out. And I just would ask that you guys bear with us um, until we resolve and get everything operational fully. It's the beginning of a new business. Um, so yeah, there'll be a few little teething problems. And as I say, the volume of orders today uh, we're all, I mean, I, I don't want to say the word sold out, but you know, you, you get what I'm saying. Um, so, not to tease you, <laughs> but um, yeah, someone, bought, ordered, someone ordered four bottles. I, was, I mean, that's like so flattering. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to, we, we, it's on our to-do list, of course. We, we're, we formulated products to be compliant with the US, um, Europe, etc. So, I, I, you know, just give us a bit of time, all right? Now, I'm gonna do eyes. You can ask me questions, Francis, if there's anything that needs to come up. So, um, I always do eyes first, separately. Um, a lot of people say, oh, can't you use it for your eyes? I don't think that eye makeup, eye makeup remover is this, I, I wouldn't wanna use a product that removes eye makeup all over my face. So oils and things, sorry, that's just not for me. And it causes problems in lots of different problem skin situations. So that's just not for me. I find that biophasic um, eye makeup removers um, in particular can cause little bobbly bits um, and comedones and potentially trigger my and those who are prone. Um, so I'm not going to use that kind of a product all over my face. So I think mascara is a different animal to foundation and SPF. So I use a dedicated eye product remover. Um, and if I'm wearing quite a bit of, so if I'm not wearing very much, I will just use some Bioderma Sensibia Micellar Water. Um, and if I'm using a bit more, I like the Talika, which one is this? The sensitive, the Lash Conditioning Cleanser, um, which I find removes mascara, that, like a couple of layers of mascara, and I use um, the Chanel uh, Le Volume. So it's not water resistant. I just think water resistant mascara can't deal with it, can't deal with the problem getting it off. Um, so somebody just asked me what the eye makeup remover I use is. So it's this one, I get it at Space NK. Um, so yeah, so I use, if I'm using quite a bit, this is a good tip that Anastasia Borovic, um, you might have seen her on the Facebook group, guys, um, is to wet the cotton pads first, and then, okay, this roll's all gonna start to <laughs> feel a bit naked and exposed, so bear with me. So do a 10 second soak with water on the eye area first, um, just to kind of, you're almost diluting. Do I look like a panda? No, not yet, coming. Um, to dilute the eye makeup first. I don't think anybody finds eye makeup removal super easy, unless you use oils and stuff, but as I say, they have their own inherent problems, so it's just not for me. So I'll do two pads, and of that particular one, I'll do two pumps. And then, I think in the video, I got a bit antsy, and I started moving the product around too soon. The ideal thing is, um, oh, that's very kind of you, so glowy. Um, I think it's probably just a mixture of excitement <laughs> and a bit of steely convertible colour and a little bit of Burberry something underneath um, in a sort of a, a slightly contoury thing, just because on camera I think it makes one's face look better. So then, so you'll lose me now for 10 seconds. So I just put that on and I kind of, you know, press it up into the lashes because um, I have quite long lashes and I just find mascara removal is a nightmare. So this is the point where you have to really be patient and I'm inclined not to be. Um, so, you know, guilty as charged of using too much friction in my eye area and I'm in, in a rush. But then you give it a good 10 seconds and then mostly you should find it does um, come off in a couple of wipes. Foundation, Charlie. Um, I'm, I'm wearing the Burberry Bright Glow. Complete nightmare to get hold of these days. I think it's being basically pushed into just the Asian market. But I think for now, there's still some around um, online. But the tricky part is um, is knowing what color you are, isn't it? Whenever 
you can't necessarily, I think if you can go into, a, it's only distributed through Burberry shops, I think still through Heathrow, either Terminal 4 or 5, possibly both. Um, so if you can go in and check the colour in the Fresh Glow, they do like a BB cream, I think it is, um, then you can kind of get your tone. But yeah, it's a bit of a gamble. Yeah, so simple wipes. Yeah, I mean, all of those products I just worry about. I'm blemish prone and I think that um, ultimately you're kind of doing the same thing, right? So I, I, as I said, I just wouldn't be using wipes. I think most of them have potentially cloggy residue and I certainly wouldn't be not rinsing if I did get forced to use a wipe. So in general, where a wipe might be useful, I would use a cotton pad with micellar water. So um, yeah, so yeah, no, Regent Street is definitely, is, is kind of the best place to go and try it. I've never tried the one on Bond Street to see if they have that foundation, guys. I don't, I don't think any of them have the foundation anymore, but you can go and maybe get the color that you is right for you. So I'm looking in here, I think, I'm not wearing a huge amount of eye stuff today just because, you know, <laughs> I had work admin to do, but um, so let's see. Okay, so that's probably good. Now, what I'm gonna do is wet my skin. I'll be right back. Francis, anything else to answer? Um, well, I think we've had a lot of questions coming in in the Facebook group yes. and Instagram uh, yes. emails. I'm still here. <laughs> Um, that um, maybe, like, let's cover the basics. Is it fragrance free? Yes. We just clarified. So, guys, is it tested on animals? As per the instructions for PM, as indicated by um, the moon, <laughs> um, emoji type thing, emoticon, I'm doing two pumps. So I use more product at night than I do in the day. Um, that's why I kind of thought this was the most useful time to do this demo anyway, because. Um, in daytime, essentially, you're just removing excess of shine and I'm oily in my T-zone, so I use one pump. I do most of my sort of cleansing action in the center of my face. So, can you see? It is a proper jelly gel. Like, I mean, I love it. It's kind of, I don't know, it, it does feel quite luxy. I mean, you know, there's a lot of, like, kind of light, non-foaming cleansers in the market. Some are more basic than others. And, you know, it's not that they don't do the job, but... We want to extract a little bit of pleasure from this fairly pedestrian activity. So, um, yeah, so we made the texture, I think, really nice. It's kind of crystal clear. Um, and it just smells, it smells a clean smell in the sense that it's not fragrance, but it's certainly not offensive. Now, I'm going to employ my 13 dot technique. Someone said, was I real? Was I for real the other time? I was like, well, you know, I've seen lots and lots of people, that's three dots, who literally will get product and do this. And then, and then they almost forget to do the T-zone. So, uh, you know, the 13 dot top technique was developed with good reason. If you're trying to explain to a teenager how to apply their acne medication, let me tell you, 13 dot technique comes in very handy. Right then, so, no, it's not tested on animals, it never will be. Um, you know me, you know I love my cats, there's absolutely no way. Right, so three, so we've done nine dots now, and uh, it was a bit Northern Irish, nine. Um, and then two more in the nose, two more in the chin, and then I'll just take whatever's left over and we begin to massage. So I do my face first and then I finish up with my neck. I'm only wearing sunscreen on my neck, so, um, but what I really wanna do is give it a full minute. Now, where is Siri? This is the point where you bring Siri into action. <laughs> do you know why? You do know why, don't you? I'm, I'm sort of pushing the hashtag one cleanse one minute with this is on the back of the product because um, if you're going to use a gentle jelly cleanser like this um, it's important that um, you give it time man you know don't expect it just to sort of dissolve everything it's not nail varnish remover uh, so I really use I mean I you know people talk about different massaging techniques I guess if you're puffy under the eyes you kind of want to do bit of a sweep um i guess end of day you're less concerned about puffiness anyway aren't you and it's really more the beginning of the day so i'm just really you know giving myself a nice proper massage with nothing rough within fingertips i honestly think that that's the best way to cleanse skin grown-up skin sensitive skin acne prone skin the less friction friction <laughs> less friction you can do the better all right um, 
So yeah, so tell Siri to give you a minute for your flawless cleanse, that's key. And this glides like velvet over your skin. It's honestly a pleasure to distribute it all over. Um, I, I mean, it's almost balmy, do you know what I mean? But it's not, it's not a balm, just to be very clear, it's not a balm, but it does feel very luxurious. Um, where I think sometimes these more um, functional products can sometimes feel a bit, you know, unmemorable. Okay, so I feel like someone's asking me double cleansing. So I, I'm not into double cleansing for the reasons I said. I like to single cleanse because I'm very tired at the minute. And um, I, I'm, I'm, I don't have time for double cleansing. So um, some people talk about eye makeup removal as a first cleanse. I mean, it's not really because you're doing one thing here and then you're doing something else here. So it's a single cleanse all over and that's what I do. And that's what I recommend to patients. How long has it taken to develop? My goodness. Well, I mean, all these things begin as concepts, don't they? Um, I think I'm gonna rinse now, guys, so bear with me. And when I rinse, I always use tepid water. It's not a BRB moment. Um, so yeah, tepid water and lots of it. And I think the areas to really think about are the places where we sort of tend to end up with bits left behind and you look at the towel and go, oh, it's not off, my makeup's not off, are the temples. So I think just be conscious you know, that's why I've got a hairband on because I've got terrible cow's licks, my hair gets wet, my blow dry is ruined. So I, I consciously protect my hairline as much as possible whenever I'm cleansing. All right, so off I go. Um, Francis will tell you a joke or something. <laughs> is it okay for acne prone skin? No, absolutely. That's, that's, that's why I've developed a formula that's non comedogenic, which won't clog you up. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, absolutely key to me that it, it, it is a, a good fundamental that suit that suits most people um can you use a flannel i mean i'm a fingertip gal okay so we have a good request if okay. you do a video explaining the journey towards the brand I oh think yeah that's a cool idea okay the full story the origins the origins of the brand well we we, we, are, <laughs> we are going to be doing a video um, which we might like share sooner rather than later. Can you still hear me? Or does it sound like I'm underwater? <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> now, I'll probably look a bit pink today. Is that a cat? I thought the door opened. No. Usually when you're doing this, Ginger or Hector appear. And, uh, and, and they like, Ginger's obsessed with me when I do my makeup. And I find, so I was in my boyfriend's study today, did a pat dry guys with a clean white towel, no rubbing. This is your most precious asset and you must, must, must protect it. And I'm quite red today, don't worry about me. It's just because there's been so much on and I'm a bit, I'm a bit revved right now and I probably had a bit too much caffeine and maybe I've had a little bit of champagne last night. So, you know, but it'll calm down and it'll be fine in an hour. Um, so you saw that, right? Patting, no rubbing. Um, we're not trying to exfoliate with our towels. We are more sophisticated than that. Okay, um, so what I'm left with um, which is quite important because you know you guys know I use retinoids at night. Sometimes I use Juac on prescription if I've got a blemish. Um, I might use something else on my pimple. You know we're uh, being thorough about the other stuff that's coming. So it doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel squeaky clean. That feeling is all wrong, um, and it's something you need to almost eliminate from your memory banks. Because a long time sometimes um, I find with patients to educate people so that they understand that your skin shouldn't feel like it's clean. That means you've gone too far and you've taken too much away, which means if you try to use actives on that depleted barrier, you're gonna run into irritation, more redness, unhappy skin, basically. So treat it like it should be, with respect. This is something very valuable that you want to pamper and look after correctly. So it feels silky. Um, and smooth and I mean I will moisturize and do my nighttime routine that's a video for another time because I don't want to get it, this will just be too long but um it's really comfortable and that's what's key so it's a functional product it's nicely formulated I think it looks nice I don't want it to do any harm to my skin um 
And I hope that you'll find those attributes um, present when you try it. And I know that you'll let me know, and that's the great thing about the way these businesses work. Just to be clear, we are only um, distributing it through the website and through the clinic. Um, so uh, I wanted to have, sounds very controlling, I wanted to have control over the way we communicate, how the products are used and how whenever we have more products to offer, how they can be used together to deliver the best possible results, to get rid of how much do I use of this? So that you get a consistent routine that delivers beautiful skin um, and, and something you can kind of just forget about because you know you have that covered. Um, and I've done the work for you to put together ingredients which work well. And I'll show you how to customize them so that they suit one skin type which might be drier versus one that might be oilier. So all that to come. Um, the video, well, I mean, I think, I think we'll, we'll, we'll do the video. I don't want to keep you guys here forever. I'm sure you have much more interesting things to do, but um, we will do a video on why I'm doing the range and how the whole bigger picture thing looks and, and I guess what you can expect. But the premise of the brand is affordable, accessible, premium feel, cosmeceutical um, skincare um, formulated with grown-ups in mind who are blemish prone because I think it's such a big market. Um, who are also anti-aging concerned. My belief is that's almost everyone. So um, that's what you can expect. Um, you've met the cleanser now, <laughs> your old friends. And um, yeah, I look forward to sharing more sessions like this with you very soon. Um, is this good for 11 years? I mean, when do you start a skincare routine? I think kids start a proper skincare routine um, at the time when their skin starts to manifest changes suggestive of entering puberty. So they're going to become oilier and they're going to, you know, if they're going to be blemish prone, let's face it, 85% of teens are, then they'll get little bumps, little clogged pores and some blackheads. And then maybe then they'll go on to get some acne. So I think that when you start a routine, it's for what you see. I don't think about ages per se, because some t kids get puberty much earlier than others. So um, I think it's about treating what you see, not making life more complicated than it needs to be. But probably as much as anything with tent teams is just to get them into good habits and to avoid bad ones. All right, I hope you had fun. I certainly did. And. Um, Thank you again for all your support and it just makes me feel so good that so many of you have an interest in these products and if you like what we've done we'll keep doing it all right bye for now